Do you have uh, trains operational today? I'm going to guess that John's not going to be able to make it today. <laughs> Just oh, my <laughs> trains are always operational. All right. They're always operational. So there's one here that you might, I, I, you know, just to put one out, uh, let me get it turn, things turned on. Get this turned on. There we go. Okay. Train two. It's a run. Engine three. The interesting thing about it is, let me get this here. Okay, you see the, the thing there that says WMDK. That's a, a K line train, and it has a TV camera on it. Oh. And then back here, this car makes a racket as it clanks down the track. This guy has a bad wheel and it's going to uh, get hot when we get moving and start smoking. And this, this guy back here is a, is a uh, cattle car. And if you don't drive the train smoothly, the cattle can play. <laughs> So there's here's the picture from the uh, from the engine from that uh, hayline car. Okay. So what is that engine that's running? So Mike, what is the engine that's running? And I'm gonna bring it around and stop at that orange car. See the fire there. Oh, yeah. What did he say? Huh. Can you hear me, Mike? I couldn't see the smoke too well uh, on the TV, but it's there. And you hear the cows are complaining. Yeah. So, so. Hey, go, we last half the train. Yeah.
All right, last week when we were together, I mentioned that I had a 2330 that wasn't working. <clears throat> and Mike suggested, uh, after checking all the wires, uh, see if the motor was gunked up and to use WD-40. And I'm happy to say that using WD-40 was a success. And here's the engine. Works very well now. <clears throat> so, <laughs> moving on from that exciting point. Uh, so, as you can tell, I'm part operator and part collector. One of the first things that I started to collect were cabooses. And at this point, I probably have uh, over 150 cabooses. Um, I use as my reference guide uh, David Doyle's uh, book. I highly recommend this. This is the second edition. It's got <clears throat> every car, engine, accessory, catalog, etc. Uh, that line I'll put out from 1945 to 1969, and it does a fabulous job of talking about cabooses. You know, so, I mean, here's on this page, that must be the 4357, gives you a nice little description of the cars, and it talks about what the rarity of it might be. So, um, these 4357s, they're fairly rare. You can come across them. They're uh, rarity number five. Uh, when, if you're going for collecting these items, there's very common ones. Common ones would be the 6017, uh, 6057. But then there are other ones that uh, are very rare. And I'm going to bring some of them over. For us to look at. So I pulled three off the shelf. Um, so here's one that's uh, given a rarity of eight, a Lehigh Valley Tuscan. And here is the 6357 ATS&F. Um, this was part of the father-son set where one half was uh, O-gauge and the other half was HO. And then this third one over here, this is a 6017, but it's the Boston and Maine. This is the uh, dark blue uh, purple car. So all three of these are cataloged as uh, having a rarity of eight, and they're they're fairly valuable. As I was going through uh, my collecting over the past thirty years, one of the cars that I couldn't find was the six one one nine. Now you're saying <laughs> that's a pretty common car, but it had an extension six one one nine dash one one zero, and when I started looking for that. The only reference that I could find to that was in the 1964 catalog. And I'll open this up here to the right page. So this set here, and I'll try and get close enough. So if we don't have too much glare, there you can see 619-110 work caboose. So um, the problem is that work caboose is the same ones with just different extension. The only place that you could prove that you actually had that car was to get that set <coughs> that I showed you. And here is that set. 
the number 11460. I looked at, I can't tell you how many uh, flea markets, how much time I spent on eBay, going to train swaps. So <clears throat> taking the lid off of it, I finally found this. Um, you know, it's just more or less common cars. It's the 237 uh, engine. But then here's the caboose that I'm talking about. Now, if you just look at this caboose, it's the exact same caboose that you see elsewhere. But the, the difference is the extension, the 110. And the only way that you can prove that you have the 110 is to have this set. And I would uh, offer that at this point, this set, even though it's modest rarity, probably isn't around. Most people have lost the box. Um, doesn't really come up for sale very often at all. I was fortunate to get this one. So now, I think that proving that you've got the 6119, dash 110 gives it a rarity probably same as those other three cars the difference is people that probably don't care about it so it's not worth any more thing more it's just a curiosity corner of uh, what lionel did so if you So Mike pointed out that uh, he's got the blue Virginia, and there aren't very many of those out there. It's pretty rare. Uh, 6427. Uh, he got that as a child. <laughs> I've got it too, but I didn't. That was part of my collection. So the next interesting thing, and I'd like to talk about with everybody is Woodland Scenics has come out with an interesting uh, product a couple years ago. They started doing this. It's called the Just Plug System. I'm trying to get a little closer here with this tripod. So what's nice about this is uh, this is all LED, so it replaces all the incandescent bulbs that you have on your uh, table and your setup. So uh, each power supply, uh, which is this unit over here, uh, is one amp. So that's a thousand milliamp. Most of the lights that they have, that they offer are 20, the 25 uh, milliamps. So here's, see the just plug name and by a two. This is uh, red flashing ones, but they have quite a variety of colors, quite a variety of items. Uh, after you buy that power supply, you'll need some kind of hub. And these are the hubs they have. So the first one here is what they call a sequencing hub. If I can get a little closer. So we'll all have to read upside down, but uh, each hub has a different function. It can be an expansion hub, but then it's got room for four lights on the bottom. This particular uh, device, so you can see the four lights here, and it rotates back and forth. So I've got three green ones, and you can see, or three white ones and one green one, and you can see the sequencing changing here, uh, so that can create an interesting effect. Um, I'm going to unplug that for a second and plug it into 
just a more traditional hub. So here, in this particular hub, this red one here, you can see red lights flashing, I've got the blue light here. It can create some interesting effects on your table. I've replaced over 40 incandescent bulbs on my table with this. So I'm going to turn them on here. Probably need to dim the lights. Make this stand out. You can see the building here. Maybe I'll actually take this out of the holster and get closer. And so there's one building, another building gas station with some lights on it. Um, you can see they have street lights. Um, there's a depot where I put lights inside and lights outside. Another interesting effect that you can do is <clears throat> put a couple of lights together, make it look, look sort of like a fire. Here's another uh, building with lights. Uh, I showed this little shack before, but it looks like it's on fire. So got a yellow flasher with red light over on the mountain, some more lights. These are kind of far away, but you can see some of the other effects that you can do. So the more you build up this system and you can just stretch the lights, uh, by plugging them in, you can get lights, not so, lots of nice, interesting effects. So, um, I know it's a shameless plug, but I think, uh, the Woodland Scenics <coughs> just plug lighting system is pretty good. They also have cars, uh, where the headlights light up and the taillights light up. I haven't gone for that, um, uh, I figured if I wanted to do it, I could probably just simply pull apart some of the cars that I have and put those in. Uh, they seem to come out with new uh, parts to expand the system, uh, hopefully to get you to buy more product, and I probably will. Okay, I think that's it for today's session. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Talk to you next week.